Well, shit. Just, well, shit. So, I just created my video for Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, excuse the fact that there's character files here. That's from one of my previous playthroughs when I was poking around. So, as you can see, you can see audio part one. I mixed both the, the video and audio recordings, like I used to do back then when I made my first few videos and didn't edit them properly. So... I did not, I accidentally scrapped the entire video recording, so I have to go talking for 25 straight minutes. Anyways, let's get into it! Yay! So, we will, today we will be playing a game called Doki Doki Literature Club. In my scrapped video, I already installed it because of the character file issue, which you guys will get into it later, in the later chapters. Today is... Doki Doki Literature Club, part one of me playing this game. This is not a blind playthrough, but it still shocks me whenever I play it. Anyways, let's get into it. So we have some warnings. We have some warnings. This game is not for the weak-hearted people, okay? Okay. Hopefully you heard me. Do If you, if you do not like suicide... Like, actual suicide. If you don't want to see any of that, do not click on- do not- do not keep watching. Anyways, let's get into the rest of the video. Yay! This is actually one of my favorite games. I've played it a lot. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. So we have Sayori, Yuri, Natsuki, and Monica. Which I'll I'll have a question for all of you at the end of the video, which let's get into this. <gasps> Gotta brace my voice. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Good thing I grabbed a fresh cup of water before I, before I recorded take two. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and, and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. What if she's going to chase after me like this? I'd almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle, idle in front of the cross crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time? Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Hey, you said it like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Raven. The, peop the reason I chose Raven is because it's a gender-neutral name, and it's my nickname. I mean, and it just, it works out for a male character, I guess. Anyways, let's get back. Let's get back to it. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to me be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Raven, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. So you're like, Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. 
And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't, don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come, come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. You know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Hey, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so- why do you- ugh. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is, is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. Oh, you guys. My voice is literally dying. I mean, I know my all-nighter videos are one thing, but talking like this in front of camera, it just feels so weird. I'm so not used to this. I even have water with me and I'm dying. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack my window open. Although it's like 30 degrees outside. Okay, apparently I locked the window was unlocked. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly fo followed Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Raven. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club! I remain silent. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki? Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. 
She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that, that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Oh, I can't breathe. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Raven. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Yeah, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Raven. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit sit next to me, or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one, one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the classroom, where Natsuki grabs a, a, a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa. Natsuki li lifts a foil off the tray to re reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes. Decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one! Sayori grabs, grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and, and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Hey, I thought you technically did. Sayori said, Well, maybe. But not for y you No. Dummy. You, dummy. Alright, alright. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places the tea, a teacup in front of each of us before setting, setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Hey, th that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but it, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you con consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was actually dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seems, seemed really ha happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? 
You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand, stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica is a really great leader. Y Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature. You have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. I need more water. <sighs> but it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we, that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though, I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Raven, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, concerning how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. M m manga I muttered quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craft craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. I, I actually find that super relatable because... Especially when I messed up my ankle in fourth grade. Which I'm not going to say how long ago that was. But I'm still, still, I still have issues today. So back then when I was on crutches and I had the, had the boot. Which was not always fun because I was lonely. I would read all the time. And I loved indoor recess because I could just read. I especially read in, in over summer when I, at some summer program. And I actually got out all of, got out of dodgeball and everything, which I never really liked dodgeball. But my but my friend got me into this new book new book series called Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire, I from the first few chapters of the first book so far, it's a really it, it sounds like a really great series. It's about dragons and everything. I I totally recommend the recommend the series. And, anyways, enough of my ranting. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as, as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliber deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the, mi at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is, is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what What gives you that idea? 
and you left a piece of scrap paper behind last meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called, Don't Say It Out Loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no Natsuki ad averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have, have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Yuri stays silent. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we can all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will... It will help us all get, get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Raven? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I won't like come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Raven? You, you all... I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! So, Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, you really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring, 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 to bring to the next meeting. So we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Raven, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue, continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Raven. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. So Yuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy, happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to go, grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, I just need to make make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright everyone, it's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay. So, we have to choose 20 words for a poem, which they'll switch up every time. We have Yuri, Natsuki, and Sayori. Which, we can't, we can't make poems for Monica. I'm sorry. Sorry for any Monica lovers out there. So, we only have these three, 
those three, these three girls, which I'm pulling up a photo. We have these three. Yuri is, is the one in the purple hair. Natsuki is the small is the small pink haired one. And Sayori is your character's best friend from when they were little. So, you people in the comments who are watching this video, I would like you guys to choose one of these three girls. Would you got which whoever has the most votes or the only vote will be the one I, I write the poem for in, in chapter two or part two. We have Sayori. Natsuki, and Yuri. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy making it, and I can't wait until next week or the next two weeks, whenever I'm uploading. I would real I can't wait to make make the second video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Bye.